CBS Young and the Restless Spoilers. Lily lost her patience working with Devin. He brought Chancellor Winters a group of relatives and friends to work with. Devin thought it was his responsibility to give them the best life, but instead of gratitude, Lily received countless troubles in return. Imani and Nate are the cause of it. Lily hates betrayal the most. Nate is doing this. He's having an affair with Imani, betraying, treating Elena badly, which makes her very unhappy. But what right does Lily have to meddle in this? Lily wants to help Elena at least get justice. Maybe they will break up, but Elena has to sit in a higher position, making Nate regret it. Lily told this intention to her brother Devin, and she received objections in return. Devin doesn't appreciate Lily meddling so deeply in their employees' lives. Lily wants Nate to choose. If she wants to continue working here, she has to break up with Imani, begging Elena for forgiveness. Elena feels Lily's warmth and care, so she reveals her secret. Elena's pregnant with Nate's child, but she doesn't want to talk about it. She's afraid Nate will think she's a burden. She would rather have children and become a single mother than live with a husband who doesn't love her, thinking about other women all the time. Lily seems to understand the pain. She sympathizes with Elena and hopes that she will overcome it soon. Is a man like Nate worthy of love? He'll be fired from Chancellor Winters. Who will be responsible for the pregnancy in Elena's belly? Does Devin want to be the godfather of another child? Sure, Devin has never refused such sacred work. The baby doesn't have a father. Devin is willing to do that, as long as Elena is happy and Nate agrees to this. The price Nate has to pay is that she won't have the right to be the child's father, be hated by everyone, and live a life without any good jobs. Nate is also betrayed by Imani herself because she didn't love him. She was just pretending to flirt.